I'm gonna talk about wardrobes in general. Of course, because I have a walk-in wardrobe, it will be a little bit from the perspective of someone with a walk-in wardrobe. So the wardrobe that I currently have is actually not my forever wardrobe. And that is because I'm currently not in my forever home. So for this reason, I decided that instead of making my dream closet custom build, I wanted to first figure out what kind of closet do I need? I always wanted to have a walk-in wardrobe because I wanted the space I wanted to have a good overview of all my clothes. So for me, it really made sense to convert one of the rooms of where I live to create this walk-in wardrobe. But I had never had a walk-in wardrobe before. And for that reason, I didn't really know, well, what kind of spaces do I need? So what I did was that I went to Ikea. I just got some basic standard walk-in wardrobe system that you can get from there. And then I started playing around with it. And actually, since I've had this wardrobe now for a few years, I've changed the interior of it back and forth. You might not initially know what kind of wardrobe setup you should be having, and you will only figure it out once you use your wardrobe for yeah. some time. So that ended up being a really good choice for me that instead of going straight for a custom built, uh, fantastic wardrobe, I now have played around with my wardrobe so much that I really, really know what I need, what kind of spaces I need, what kind of shelvings, what kind of storage I need and yeah in the future once we move I definitely have a clear idea of how my future wardrobe is going to look like. When it comes to color or wardrobe I do suggest going in the light direction and that is for a very simple reason because it's easier to see when it's light versus when it's dark. We need a lot of light to have good visibility in our closets and if you have let's say a closet that is of the color black it's gonna be a little bit tough for you, even if you install lights, to always be able to see and have a clear overview. The downside of having a white closet is the fact that, especially if it comes from Ikea, is that it does look like a affordable Ikea closet. I would suggest to go maybe a little bit more like light wood that usually masks the appearance that it comes from Ikea. But for me, because I knew I was gonna film a lot from my closet, I knew I had to actually just go for white because that looks always the best on camera. I have a fitted carpet here in my walk-in wardrobe. There are many reasons for that. The primary reason that I want to share with you is because it adds light to the room and I would suggest you to either get a fitted carpet or maybe a large rug in a light color. Trust me when I say that it's going to brighten the room, make it feel bigger, but also improve the visibility in the walk-in wardrobe, which is so important to have. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later in this video. Another reason to why I really love having a fitted carpet carpet in my wardrobe is because it actually helps absorb some of the noise in here, meaning that I can run around in my heels here, trying heels back and forth, and my husband is not going to get annoyed that I make so much noise, or let's see if I want to, I don't know, throw some things around and be just a little bit crazy, <laughs> which happens sometimes, especially when you are in a rush and like panic packing last minute, you just, uh... so yeah, the carpet really does help absorb all the noise. Let me tell you a secret, which actually took me a little bit of time to figure out. I don't know why it wasn't as obvious as it actually is. And this tip is regardless if you have a walk-in wardrobe or if you have a standard wardrobe. But ladies, the magic word is lights. Now that elevates so much an entire wardrobe because we spoke about visibility just a second ago and that is one of the key things to think about whenever you structure your wardrobe. How good visibility do you have? Is it organized? Can you see things? Do you have a clear view? And I must say that before I installed lights in my walk-in wardrobe, it looked a little bit miserable. <laughs> but as soon as I installed lights, it's just like everything got so much more elevated and looked so nicer and also added a lot of joy to myself whenever I looked at my wardrobe because it was aesthetically more pleasing for the eye. And I think it's important that your wardrobe should somehow inspire you. Not that when you look at your wardrobe you just feel sad, depressed, overwhelmed and angry. Instead you want to look at your wardrobe and be like, oh I love you my little wardrobe. I feel so inspired now looking at these things. But ladies, lights, definitely a must, must investment. And actually, lights don't cost a lot of money. If you just go to Ikea, these are Ikea lights. Perfect, they do the job. Another tip, which doesn't really matter what kind of wardrobe you have, but clear shelving 
is actually something that I discovered really does help for visibility in a wardrobe. Of course, maybe a little bit more so for a walking wardrobe, but even inside a standard wardrobe. So here in particular, because these shelves are above me, it can be hard to see if they were completely white and colored. It would be harder to see what's on top, but because they're a see-through, it's easy to see from down here. Here you can see that I also have clear shelvings, which really does help to see what's underneath. And if we pull this one out, you can see I have my collections of thin belts, all beautifully organized here, which another standard piece from Ikea, you get these organizers, very affordable. But the fact that they're hiding under clear shelves makes life so much easier than if it was completely white. And I'm also a big fan of clear storage. As you can see here, these are also simple boxes from Ikea. I put my thicker belts in them. I'm not saying this is the best way of organizing thick belts. So if I have any personal organizers watching me right now who might be horrified why I'm organizing them in such way, but it's just that for the time being, it makes a lot of sense to me because I like to have a clear overview of my belts and this is by far the best structure for now. So I have organized them in a way where I have basically placed all belts individually in one box and I just stack them on top and this way when I just take a step back and look at my wardrobe I can clearly see all my belts. And this is what I would like you ladies to think about. How can you have that mindset in your own wardrobe? Whether you have a walk-in wardrobe or a standard wardrobe, it's about creating a system for you where you have clear visibility of the things that you use the most. Pay attention, the things you use the most, because that is really the keyword. It's not about some stuff that you maybe use once a month that you want to have perfectly organized for you. In the end of the day, you just want to have good organizations of all of your things, but make sure that your everyday items have priority, that they are the ones who are organized in the most effective way. I just want to say thank you because a lot of you have told me how much you learn from my videos on YouTube. But I must tell you ladies is that what you learn here on YouTube is actually just a really small percentage of all the things you could know if you only took the time and allowed me to be your teacher and enrolled in my program The Elegant Stylist because there I really go deep onto everything that I know about fashion and styling. For more information go to elegantstylist.me and find out how you can become my student. So having peeked into many classy women's closets over the years, I have noticed a running theme. Nobody is mixing their hangers. They all have hangers of the same color and actually these slim velvet hangers are really popular among well-dressed women. But why is that? First of all, thin velvet hangers are perfect because they don't take up a lot of space. Regardless if you have a lot of clothes or not, you do want to have as much space between your items as possible because if you stack the items too crowded, the clothes are gonna get wrinkly. You want to try and get as much space as possible in your wardrobe. As you can see, I have uh, quite a lot of clothes, but if you have a lot of clothes, of course, there comes a limit where you shouldn't be stacking too many items next to each other because first of all, it will look overwhelming. Second of all, it will actually start ruining or affecting the clothes somehow. I would say this is okay, but this is when these thin hangers come handy. The only time I use thicker hangers is actually for items that might be a little bit damaged by thin hangers. And usually those items are coats or heavy jackets of some sort, or maybe thicker blazers. With velvet hangers, it's also really nice the fact that they're non-slip because how annoying is it when clothes just slip off your hangers from time to time? The hangers that I never want to see in my wardrobe are the ones from the dry clean. <laughs> So if you are storing your clothes right now on those metal, thin, dry clean hangers, shame on you. Go and throw them out ASAP as per my advice because they actually do ruin the clothes and they're not good. I hate them. A lot of you ask me, but how should I actually organize my wardrobe? And I do suggest that you find a system that really works for you. General rule that I've seen many classy women apply is that you color coordinate your wardrobe, but you also coordinate as per some form of category or maybe sometimes subcategory. So here I have kind of it organized depending on sleeve length, color as well. Generally speaking, definitely group things at least per category or certain attributes that are important for 
you specifically, whether that is sleeve length or dress length or what kind of item we're talking about. So you have to think a little bit how you want to organize your wardrobe. So I have been waiting for this moment. As you can see, I have a few empty holes here and I've been dying to fill them in with these, but I've been waiting until we made this video just so I could show you. Because one of the things that it's very annoying with wardrobes that are more affordable, like Ikea wardrobes, is the fact that they have these empty holes. And that really does downgrade the appearance of a wardrobe. So how it works is that you take one of these pigs and you basically just press it inside the hole. And then you do it all the way and it just fills it, which is a good temporary solution if these holes bother you as much as they bother me. But I can tell you that once you have filled all the holes, it will actually make your wardrobe look a little bit more expensive. I think regardless if you have a standard wardrobe or a walk-in wardrobe, you're going to be having shelves that you have to reach to, something that is a little bit higher up. So I do recommend you ladies to get a cute little footstool, not only because of the functionality of it, but also because it looks cute. I want to show you my storage. And I think many of you ladies will have occasion wear that you might have to store away. Here I have my resort wear, I have my ski wear. Let me tell you a little hack. Because it's easy to make your wardrobe look cramped, ugly, messy. And that is, of course, how you organize this area on top. Now, of course, in the ideal world, we would all be minimalist and have nothing there so it looks really clean and tidy. But I really want to utilize the space on top of my wardrobe instead of just wasting it. So what I did was that I ordered these really nice bags. They're made out of linen and they are from Muji. And what I like about them is that they blend very well into the background. When you enter the wardrobe, you're not directly paying attention to them. And that's so important when you think about how you storage looks like because one thing that you don't really want to do is to have your storage like mismatched as an example you don't want this one to be in a completely different color to the other one or completely different style to the other one because when things are mismatched it starts looking messy you want everything to be identical that's when it looks organized. So all of these are identical and I can't recommend them enough for you ladies. So whenever I need something, I just pull them down and uh, easy peasy. So another note on organization, seasonal organization is key, especially if you live in a country with four seasons like I do. The seasons are changing and so should your wardrobe, meaning that if it's summer, all your summer items should be out and you store away your winter stuff and vice versa. And right now I, I am in the winter season, so I have all my fall and winter items out, meaning that on front row you will have all my coats and jackets because I use them daily. A lot of the items that I currently have out in my wardrobe are everything long sleeve. So everything that's short sleeve or maybe lighter textures, maybe more resort wear or beach wear, I have stored all of that away. And I really want you ladies to make a habit of storing things away several times a year because it's really going to help you. If you think that, oh, but you know what, let me just put it somewhere in the back of my wardrobe instead of taking it out and storing it away. I don't recommend that mindset because that's when your wardrobe starts feeling overwhelming. And especially if you have a standard wardrobe, you are very limited of space. So for this reason, please don't do that. Make sure you actually store it away in your basement or if in some other space. I have a basement. I also have a storage. Best investment ever. I'm not saying now that you should become a hoarder. No, but mindful storage is okay. Just don't start hoarding. So a few more comments on organization. And let me tell you one thing, that organization as a whole is a massive topic. So one can go really deep on it, but I wanna speak about how we organize inside our drawers because that is actually quite important. That's really when the mess <laughs> really begins. So as I'm currently in my winter wardrobe, I have all my knitwear, sweaters, cardigans out because that's what I'm using the most right now. But one thing that you must know, as an example, knitwear is something that shouldn't really be hung. It's something that should be in your drawers. And here I have organized it as per neckline because that is important to me. I wear a lot of V-necks, but I also do own a lot of round necks. But I want to specifically know, okay, which are V-necks and which are round necks because for me, that does matter. So you have to find a system that works for you. you 
you might not really care about necklines so much, so you might not need to organize yours depending on necklines. Here I also have cardigans set aside, and here I have kind of all my long sleeve v-necks or round necks. I must confess, ladies, folding garments <laughs> is not my best skill. So my folding looks a little bit like this, a little bit messy, but this is the best I could do with my skills. But I do recommend you ladies that you roll your knitwear. And I also recommend that you stack them in this order. We usually stack things on top of each other and put them inside our drawers. And that is a big mistake because that reduces visibility. When you fold things and place them after each other like this, that actually gives you full visibility of what you have. And one more thing that gives you visibility is when you put notes what things are. All the categories should be marked out important because who knows you might forget one day or you might be a little bit tired and not remember like oh wait a second what is this section what is that section but if you have everything marked out even if it's just for your own eyes it does help you so much with visibility so that's a really good tip I must share with you. Another thing that I like is when I see gaps in my storage. Why is that? Because it helps me have a good overview of what I own. So here I have things organized depending on sleeve length and also on neckline once again. But here I can clearly see that short sleeve knitwear is something I have a little bit less of than all my long sleeve knitwear. So just something for me to pay attention to whenever I'm shopping. But when you have it organized in the system, you can clearly see there's a hole here. So that gives you this visibility that, aha, I have less of that and more of that. I want to also show you my organization for trousers because I do have this system, which I am aware takes up a lot of space. If you have space, then definitely invest in something like this because it really does help you have a good overview over your trousers. Because what happens otherwise is that trousers get stacked on top of each other and then you don't really know what you have. But if you're able to hang your trousers like this and you have a pulling in and pulling out system, then you're always going to know what you have. And especially with trousers, we tend to have all kinds of different variations and some of them might even look a bit like each other but we know that they're a little bit different still. As you can see here I have all these white and light colored trousers and that's because they're like my favorite trousers that I use all the time so I like to have different variations of them. Some might have a high waist, some might be really long, some might be cropped, some might be very slim in their structure so it all depends but you need to have this good overview. So if you're not able to invest in something like this this, and by the way, this is something very affordable from Ikea, then I would definitely suggest to perhaps roll your trousers the way I rolled my knitwear and then you stack them one after each other instead of stacking them on top of each other because you're going to lose visibility that way. Some of you like to maybe hang them on hangers, which is also a possible solution, but they will take up a lot of space that way. Just a little FYI. Now, ladies, as you can see that it's not only what a woman wears that makes her well-dressed and look classy, but it's also how she organizes her own clothing. And in my next video, I'm gonna share more tips, actually genius and so clever things that many classy women who are incredibly well-dressed, they use in their everyday life. And I want you to take part of those items because they're very affordable and truly they're gonna save your life. So hop on over to that video because I will see you there.